So in this video, we're going to take you guys through the process of making a Mangano catapult. So once you're in Tinkercad, step one is going to be going to create, create 3D design. After you do that, next thing we have to do is go up here to the top, and we need to make sure that we name this catapult. Now, after we do that, there's a couple settings down here we have to change. Click on settings. Units should be inches. And then the max size our catapult can be like we talked about in class, is 20 by 20. And then after we make those changes, we hit the X. Another thing to change will be the snap grid. This means how much your piece can move when you start grabbing onto it and trying to move it around. I suggest going to 164th. Now, to make your catapult, the first thing that we're going to do for the mangonel is make the base. To make the base, the first thing that we have to change is the thickness, since these pieces are going to be standing up on edge. So half an inch is going to be the thickness. The height should be one inch, unless it's something special. And then the length should be whatever you determined it or to be earlier. So in this case, I'm going to make this piece approximately 10 inches long. So I'll type in 10, hit enter. Now to get an identical piece, the quickest and easiest way to do this is just control C, control V for copy and paste. I'm just going to stick it over here temporarily. And then I need to make a front and a back. So front and a back, pretty much the same ordeal. You're going to grab your piece, stick it out here, and remember to resize everything appropriately, so 0.5. And then the length should be whatever you want it to be. And remember, we're going to try to use whole numbers. So I think I want this to be 5. And then I want to try to get it close with my mouse and use my arrow keys to kind of dial it in. And then do the same thing for the other piece because you want them all to match up appropriately. Now, after we get that piece done, we're going to go to the other side and do the same exact thing. Drag it over, get it close, use your arrow keys to kind of a fine tune adjust it. So just like that. Okay. Now, the next thing we have to do is we have to get some side pieces on this. So very similar to what we did before. So here's what we're going to do so we don't mess things up. We're going to select everything, click on the lock button. That way we don't accidentally click on it and drag it by accident. We're going to take this box, stick it out here, and just do a similar process to what we did earlier. So 0.5 for that. The height, I want that to be around 7 inches, so I'll type in 7. And then just make sure that they're going to be connected kind of like what you see here. Looks like I have to adjust it just a little bit, but there we go. Now, after we get that side done, we're going to do Control c Control v and then I'm just going to be making it go to the other side. Now, if it's going too slow like this, you can always jack up your snap grid to like an eighth of an inch or something higher. And then when you get to the other side, then you can turn it back down just like this just makes things go a little bit quicker. Make sure that they're all lined up. Looks like they are. And then after I'm done with those pieces, I'm going to do the same thing where I go and put another piece on top. I want a cross brace. So I'm going to take the box, stick it up here. And then in this case, a height measurement that goes this way will be 0.5. And we're trying to make this as realistic as possible. And then now I need my width, or actually not my width, but my length. So this is going to be around 8 inches. Oh, looks like I was a little bit too big. So it needs to be 7. And then after I get that perfected, Remember, use your arrow keys to try to get it all dialed in so it's perfect. So that looks good that way. That looks good that way. Perfect. Once that's done, we're going to go and select both of these pieces and, again, lock them in place so we don't accidentally touch them and move them. Now, the next thing we need to do is make the dowel rod that goes across, and then we need the lever arm and the ball holder. So we're going to take the cylinder, stick it here, and if you want it to be the correct size, the dimension should be 0.5 by 0.5, so half an inch by half an inch. And as you can see, it should fit perfectly in the center like this. And then after we are done with that, make it the correct length. In this case, I'm pretty sure it should be six. Yep, there we go. And there's my dowel rod. Perfect. 
And again, as you finish something up, lock it so it doesn't move, okay? Now what we need to do is the lever arm. So for the lever arm, what I'm going to do is remember the longer it is, the more powerful your catapult's going to be. I'm going to zoom in here, change this to the thickness of 0.5. The height should be 1, which it is. And then the max length of my lever arm can be 18. And then once I get that perfected, in order to raise it up, you're going to take that little cone right here, click and raise it up to the proper height, which is about right there. Perfect. So that looks pretty good to me. I think the only thing I might want to do is maybe move it in the center just a little bit because it's off center. There we go. Now that we're done with that, again, lock it. And then the ball holder is going to go on top. In this case, to make the ball holder, I'm just going to use a cylinder. Stick a cylinder here. You don't really have to resize it. Just leave it as is and then lock it. Last thing we need to show you is how to do the diagonal pieces. Those pieces are a little bit trickier. So try your best. So for that, very similar to what we did before, 0.5. And then the height, this is something where you kind of have to guesstimate. So for me, I'm just going to go to, let's do 8. We'll do 8. And we want to make sure it's actually taller than what we have here. And to get it to line up the right way, there's a little bit of a trick you have to do. Click on the rotate arrows here. Rotate it approximately where it should go. So that right there. And then you're just going to use your arrow keys to kind of like move it where it should go and adjust it accordingly. So for me, I think I want it to go about right there. Down at the bottom, it looks like it sticks out just a little bit. So I need to take it and just move it in. And don't worry about exact dimensions for this because it really doesn't matter. Once you get this piece done, which I'm almost done with it, what I need to do is control C, control V. And then I'm just going to go through the process of putting it on the other side. Now, once you have all of your pieces perfected and everything looks right like it should be, then what you're going to do is have me come over so I can take a look at it. And I want to check over your project. And the last thing that we're going to do right here for this step is just lock it out. So it looks just like this. So there we go. We got a finished Maganel catapult.